This is a list of extreme points of Earth, the geographical locations that are farther north or south than, higher or lower in elevation than, or farthest inland or out to sea from, any other locations on the landmasses, continents or countries. For other lists of extreme points on Earth, including places that hold temperature and weather records, see Extremes on Earth, Lists of Extreme Points, and List of Weather Records. Topic. Earth Topic. Latitude and longitude The northernmost point on Earth is the geographic North Pole, in the Arctic Ocean. The northernmost point on land is the northern tip of Kafeklubben Island, north of Greenland 83 degrees 40 and 29 degrees 50 W, which lies slightly north of Cape Morris Jessup, Greenland 83 degrees 38 and 32 degrees 40 W. Various shifting gravel bars lie farther north, the most famous being Udok. The southernmost point on Earth and the southernmost point on land is the geographic South Pole, which is on the continent of Antarctica. The southernmost point of water is a bay on the filchner ron ice shelf along the coast of Antarctica 83 degrees south 59 degrees west about 100 kilometers 62 miles south of Berkner Island, the southernmost island in the world. The southernmost point of ocean is located on the Gould Coast 84 degrees 30 s 150 degrees 0 w. The southernmost point of open ocean is also part of the Ross Sea, namely the Bay of Wales at 78 degrees 30 s, at the edge of the Ross Ice Shelf. The westernmost and easternmost points on Earth, based on the east-west standard for describing longitude, can be found anywhere along the 180th meridian in Siberia including Wrangel Island, Antarctica, or the three islands of Fiji through which the 180th meridian passes Vanua Levu's eastern peninsula, the middle of Tabayuni, and the western part of Rabi Island. Using the path of the International Date Line, the westernmost point on land is Attu Island, Alaska, and the easternmost point on land is Caroline Island, Kiribati. Topic. Elevation Topic. Highest points The highest point on Earth's surface measured from sea level is the summit of Mount Everest on the border of Nepal and China. While measurements of its height vary slightly, the elevation of its peak is usually given as 8,848 meters 29,029 feet above sea level. It was first reached by Sir Edmund Hillary of New Zealand and Sherpa of Nepal Tenzing Norgay in 1953. The point farthest from Earth's center is the summit of Chimborazo in Ecuador, at 6,384.4 kilometers (3,967.1 miles) from Earth's center. The peak's elevation relative to sea level is 6,263.47 meters (20,549 feet). This is because Earth is an oblate spheroid rather than a perfect sphere, it is wider at the equator and narrower between the poles. Therefore, the summit of Chimborazo, which is near the equator, is farther away from Earth's center than the summit of Mount Everest as, the latter is 2,168 meters 7,112.9 feet closer, at 6,382.3 kilometers 3,965.8 miles from Earth's center. Peru's Huascarán at 6,768 meters (22,205 feet) contends closely with Chimborazo. The difference in the mountain's heights being just 23 meters (75 feet). 
the fastest point on Earth or, in other words, the point furthest from the axis of Earth is the summit of Cayamba in Ecuador, at 1,675.89 km per hour 1,041.35 miles per hour and 6,383.95 km 3,966.80 miles from the axis. Like Chimborazo, which is the fourth fastest peak at 1,675.47 km per hour 1,041.09 miles per hour, it is close to the equator and takes advantage of the oblate spheroid figure of Earth. More importantly, however, it being so near the equator means that the majority of its distance from Earth's center goes into it being away from the axis. The importance of latitude becomes most apparent when one looks at the Challenger Deep speed of 1,639.15 km per hour 1,018.52 miles per hour compared to Mount Everest speed of 1,481.67 km per hour 920.67 miles per hour. Topic. Highest points attainable by transportation The highest point accessible by land vehicle is an elevation of 6,688 meters feet on Ojos del Salado in Chile, which was reached by the Chilean duo of Gonzalo and Eduardo Canales Moya on 21 April 2007 with a modified Suzuki Samurai, setting the high altitude record for a four-wheeled vehicle. By road dead end is on a mining road to the summit of Aconcagua in Chile which reaches an elevation of 6176 meters 20262 feet It was once usable by 20 ton mining trucks The road is no longer usable 21.214 degrees south 68.475 degrees west, minus 21.214, minus 68.475 by road mountain pass is disputed, there are a number of competing claims for this title due to the definition of motorable pass, i.e. a surfaced road or one simply passable by a vehicle. The highest asphalted road crosses Tibet Semola Pass at 5,565 meters (18,258 feet). It is used by trucks and buses regularly. The Ticlio Pass, on the Central Road of Peru, is the highest surfaced road in the Americas, at an elevation of 4,818 meters (15,807 feet). The highest unsurfaced road is claimed by several different roads. All are unsurfaced or gravel roads including the barely passable road to Umlingla, 17 kilometers 11 miles west of Demchak in Ladakh, India, which reaches 5,800 meters 19,029 feet, 19,300 feet, according to a Border Roads Organization sign there that recognizes it as the world's highest motorable pass, and Mana Pass, between India and Tibet, which is crossed by a gravel road reaching 5,610 meters 18,406 feet. The heavily trafficked Kartingla in Ladakh lies at 5,359 meters 17,582 feet. A possibly motorable gravel road crosses Marsimikla in Ladakh at 5,582 meters 18,314 feet. By train is Tangula Pass, located on the Qinghai-Tibet Railway in the Tangula Mountains of Qinghai, Tibet, China, at 5,072 meters 16,640 feet. The Tangula Railway Station is the world's highest railway station at 5,068 meters 16,627 feet. Before the Qingcheng Railway was built, the highest railway ran between Lima and Huancayo in Peru, reaching 4,829 meters 15,843 feet at Taiklio.
By ocean going vessel is a segment of the Rhine Main Danube Canal between the Hilpoltstein and Bachhausen locks in Bavaria, Germany. The locks artificially raise the surface level of the water in the canal to 406 meters (1332 feet) above mean sea level, higher than any other lock system in the world, making it the highest point currently accessible by ocean going commercial watercraft. The highest commercial airport is Daocheng Yachting Airport, Sichuan, China, at 4,411 meters (14,472 feet). The proposed Nagku Degring Airport in Tibet, China, if built, will be 25 meters (82 feet) higher at 4,436 meters (14,554 feet). The highest helipad is Sanam, Siachen Glacier, India, at a height of 6,400 meters (20,997 feet) above sea level. The highest permanent human settlement is La Rinconada, Peru, 5,100 meters (16,732 feet) in the Peruvian Andes. The farthest road from the Earth's center is the road to Carl Hut in the Ecuadorian Andes, at an elevation of 4,850 meters (15,912 feet) above sea level, and a distance of 6,382.9 kilometers (3,966 miles) from the center of the Earth. Topic. Highest geographical features The highest volcano is Ojos del Salado on the Argentina-Chile border. It has the highest summit, 6,893 meters 22,615 feet, of any volcano on Earth. The highest natural lake is an unnamed crater lake on Ojos del Salado at 6,390 meters (20,965 feet) on the Argentina side. Another candidate was Lagba Pool on the northeast slopes of Mount Everest, Tibet, China, at an elevation of 6,368 meters (20,892 feet), which has since dried up. The highest navigable lake is Lake Titicaca, on the border of Bolivia and Peru in the Andes, at 3,812 meters 12,507 feet. The highest glacier is the Kumbu Glacier on the southwest slopes of Mount Everest in Nepal, beginning on the west side of Lhotse at an elevation of 7,600 to 8,000 meters 24,900 to 26,200 feet. The highest river is disputed, one candidate from many possibilities is the Aiding Ho, which flows into the Aong So, Haging so a large lake in Tibet, China, and has an elevation of about 6,100 meters 20,013 feet at its source at 32 degrees 49 minutes 30 seconds north 81 degrees 03 45 e. A very large and high river is the Yarling Sangpo or Upper Brahmaputra River in Tibet, China, whose main stem, the Makan River, has its source at about 6,020 meters (19,751 feet) above sea level at 30 degrees 48 minutes 59 seconds north, 82 degrees 42 minutes 45 seconds east. Above these elevations, there are no constantly flowing rivers since the temperature is almost always below freezing. The highest island is one of a number of islands in the Orbakot Lake in Tibet, China, at an elevation of 5,209 meters feet. Topic. Lowest points Topic. Lowest artificial points The lowest point underground ever reached was 12,262 meters 40,230 feet deep SG3 at Kola Superdeep Borehole. The lowest human-sized point underground is 3,900 meters 12,800 feet below ground at the Tatona Mine, Carletonville, South Africa. 
The lowest from sea level artificially made point with open sky may be the Hombach surface mine, Germany, which reaches a depth of 293 meters (961 feet) below sea level. The lowest from surface artificially made point with open sky may be the Bingham Canyon open pit mine, Salt Lake City, United States, at a depth of 1200 meters (3900 feet) below surface level. The lowest point underwater is the 10,685 meters (35,056 feet) deep, as measured from the subsea wellhead, oil and gas well drilled on the Tiber oil field in the Gulf of Mexico. The wellhead of this well was an additional 1,259 meters (4,131 feet) underwater for a total distance of 11,944 meters (39,186 feet) as measured from sea level. 0.28.736667 degrees north, 88.386944 degrees west, 28.736667. Minus eighty eight three hundred eighty six thousand nine hundred forty four. Topic Lowest natural points. The lowest known point is Challenger Deep, at the bottom of the Mariana Trench, 11,034 meters, thirty six thousand two hundred one feet below sea level. Only six humans have reached the bottom of the trench, Jacques Picard and U.S. Navy Lieutenant Don Walsh in 1960 aboard the Bathyscaphe Trieste, filmmaker James Cameron in 2012 aboard Deep Sea Challenger, as well as Victor Vescovo, Patrick Leahy, and Jonathan Strew aboard the DSV Limiting Factor in 2019. The lowest point underground is more than 2,000 meters 6, feet under the Earth's surface. For example, the altitude difference between the entrance and the deepest explored point the maximum depth of the Krubera Cave in Georgia is 2,191 plus or minus 20 meters 7,188 plus or minus 66 feet. In 2012, Ukrainian cave diver Genady Samokin reached the lowest point, breaking the world record. The lowest point on land not covered by liquid water is the valley under the Bird Glacier in Antarctica, which reaches 2,780 meters 9,121 feet below sea level. It is, however, covered by a thick layer of ice. The lowest point on dry land is the shore of the Dead Sea, shared by Jordan, Palestine, and Israel, 432.65 meters 1,419 feet below sea level. As the Dead Sea waters are receding, the water surface level drops more than 1 meter per year. The point on the surface closest to the Earth's center interpreted as a natural surface of the land or sea that is accessible by a person is the surface of the Arctic Ocean at the geographic North Pole 6,356.77 kilometers or 3,950 miles. The closest point on the ground interpreted as a land surface or sea floor is the bottom of the Litke Deep, the deepest point of the Arctic Ocean, which is 6,351.61 kilometers 3,947 miles from the center of the Earth. By comparison, the bottom of the deepest oceanic trench in the world, the Mariana Trench in the Pacific Ocean, is 14.7 kilometers 9 miles farther from the center of the Earth. Topic. Lowest points attainable by transportation The lowest point accessible by road, excluding roads in mines, is any of the roads alongside the Dead Sea in Israel and Jordan, which are the lowest on Earth at 418 meters 1,371 feet below sea level. The lowest undersea highway tunnel is the Eikson Tunnel, in Norway, at 287 meters 942 feet below sea level. 
by train, excluding the tracks inside some South African gold mines, which can be several thousand meters below sea level, is located in the Saikan Tunnel of Japan Railroad, at 240 meters 787 feet below sea level. By way of comparison, the undersea channel tunnel between England and France reaches a depth of 75 meters (246 feet) below sea level. The lowest railroad station was the Japanese Yoshioka Kaite Station at 150 meters (492 feet) below sea level, but it was closed in 2014. The lowest railroad not inside a tunnel is 71 meters (233 feet) below sea level in the Mojave Desert between Yuma, Arizona, and Palm Springs, California, in the United States of America. The lowest airfield is the Bar Yehuda Airfield (MTZ) near Masada, Israel, at 378 meters (1,240 feet) below sea level. The lowest commercial airport is Atirau Airport GUW, near Atirau, Kazakhstan, at 22 meters 72 feet below sea level, in the basin of the Caspian Sea. <laughs> <laughs> lowest cities Baku, Azerbaijan is located 28 meters 92 feet below sea level, which makes it the lowest lying national capital in the world and also the largest city in the world located below sea level. Topic. Remoteness Topic. Poles of inaccessibility Each continent has its own continental pole of inaccessibility, defined as the place on the continent that is farthest from any ocean. Similarly, each ocean has its own oceanic pole of inaccessibility, defined as the place in the ocean that is farthest from any land. Topic. Continental. The most distant point from an ocean is the Eurasian Pole of Inaccessibility or EPIA, 46 degrees 17 and 86 degrees 40 e, in China's Xinjiang region near the border with Kazakhstan. Calculations have shown that this point, located in the Zusatoin Alisan Desert, is 2,645 kilometers 1,644 miles from the nearest coastline. The nearest settlement to the EPIA is Sulik at 46 degrees 15 and 86 degrees 50 e, about 11 kilometers 6.8 miles to the east. A 2007 study suggests that the historical calculation of the EPIA failed to recognize the point where the Gulf of Obe joins the Arctic Ocean, and proposes instead that varying definitions of coastline could result in other locations for the EPIA. EPIA 1, somewhere between 44 degrees 17 and 82 degrees 11 E and 44 degrees 29 and 82 degrees 19 E, is about 2,510 plus or minus 10 kilometers 1,559.6 plus or minus 6.2 miles from the nearest ocean. EPIA 2, somewhere between 45 degrees 17 and 88 degrees 08 E and 45 degrees 28 and 88 degrees 14 E, is about 2,514 plus or minus 7 kilometers 1,562.1 plus or minus 4.3 miles from the nearest ocean, if adopted, this would place the final EPIA roughly 130 kilometers 81 one miles closer to the ocean than the point that is currently agreed upon. 
Coincidentally, EPIA-1, or EPIA-2, and the most remote of the oceanic pole of inaccessibility specifically, the point in the South Pacific Ocean that is farthest from land are similarly remote, EPIA-1 is less than 200 kilometers 120 miles closer to the ocean than the oceanic pole of inaccessibility is to land. The continental poles of inaccessibility for the other continents are as follows. Africa, 5.65 degrees north 26.17 degrees east, 5.65, 26.17 Continental Pole of Inaccessibility of Africa, close to the tripoint of the Central African Republic, South Sudan, and the Democratic Republic of the Congo, Australia, either 23 degrees 2 s 132 degrees 10 e, or 23.17 degrees south 132.27 degrees east, minus 23.17, 132.27 Continental Pole of Inaccessibility of Australia, near Papunya, Northern Territory, North America, 43.36 degrees north 101.97 degrees west, 43.36, minus 101.97 Pole of Inaccessibility North America, between Kyle, South Dakota and Allen, South Dakota. South America, 14.05 degrees south 56.85 degrees west, minus 14.05, minus 56. 85 Continental Pole of Inaccessibility in South America, near Arenopolis, Mato Grosso, Brazil. Topic. Oceanic the most distant point from land is the Pacific Pole of Inaccessibility also called Point Nemo, which lies in the South Pacific Ocean at 48 degrees 52.6 s 123 degrees 23.6 w, approximately 2,688 kilometers 1,670 miles from the nearest land equidistant from Dushi Island in the Pitcairn Islands to the north, Motu Nui off Rapa Nui to the northeast, and Mar Island off Saipal Island near Marie Bird Land, Antarctica, to the south. Topic. Other places considered the most remote The most remote island is Bouvé Island, a small, uninhabited island in the South Atlantic Ocean that is a dependency of Norway. It lies at coordinates 54 degrees 26 s 3 degrees 24 e. The nearest land is the uninhabited Queen Maud Land, Antarctica, over 1,600 kilometers (994 miles) to the south. The nearest inhabited lands are Tristan da Cunha, 2,260 kilometers (1,404 miles) away, and the coast of South Africa, 2,580 kilometers (1,603 miles) away. The title for most remote inhabited island or archipelago the farthest away from any other permanently inhabited place depends on how the question is interpreted. If the South Atlantic island Tristan da Cunha population about 300 and its dependency Gough Island with a small staffed research post, which are 399 kilometers 248 miles from each other, are considered part of the same archipelago, or if Gough Island is not counted because it has no permanent residence, then Tristan da Cunha is the world's most remote inhabited island, archipelago, the main island, also called Tristan Tristan da Cunha is 2,434 kilometers (1,512 miles) from the island Saint Helena, 2,816 kilometers (1,750 miles) from South Africa, and 3,360 kilometers (2,090 miles) from South America. It is 1845 kilometers 1146 miles away from uninhabited Bouvet Island. 
However, if Goff and Tristan da Cunha are considered separately, they disqualify each other, and the most remote inhabited island is Easter Island in the South Pacific Ocean, which lies 2,075 kilometers (1,289 miles) from Pitcairn Island. About 50 residents in 2013, 2,606 kilometers (1,619 miles) from Rikiti on the island of Mangareva, the nearest town with a population over 500 and 3512 kilometers 2182 miles from the coast of Chile the nearest continental point and the country of which Easter Island is part the Kerguelen Islands in the southern Indian Ocean are another contender, lying 1,340 kilometers (830 miles) from the small Alfred Faure Scientific Station in Ile de la Possession, but otherwise more than 3,300 kilometers (2,100 miles) from the coast of Madagascar, the nearest permanently inhabited place, 450 kilometers (280 miles) northwest of the uninhabited Heard Island and. McDonald Islands both a part of Australia and 1440 kilometers 890 miles from the non-permanent scientific station located in Ile Amsterdam the most remote city with a population in excess of 1 million from the nearest city with a population in excess of 1 million as Auckland New Zealand the nearest city of comparable size or greater is Sydney, Australia, 2,168.9 kilometers (1,347.7 miles) away. With a population in excess of 1 million from the nearest city with a population above 100,000 is Perth, Australia, located 2,138 kilometres 1,328 miles away from Adelaide, Australia. With a population in excess of 100,000 from the nearest city of at least that population is Honolulu, Hawaii, United States. The nearest city of comparable size or greater is San Francisco, 3,850 kilometers (2,390 miles) away. That is a national capital. From the nearest national capital is a tie between Wellington, New Zealand, and Canberra, Australia, which are 2,326 kilometers (1,445 miles) apart from each other. The most remote airport in the world from another airport is Matavari International Airport IPC on Easter Island, which has a single runway for military and public use. It is located 2,603 kilometers 1,617 miles from Totajeji Airport GMR. Very few flights in the Gambier Islands, French Polynesia and 3,759 kilometers 2,336 miles from Santiago, Chile SCL, a fairly large airport. In comparison, the airport at the Amundsen-Scott South Pole Station NZSP is not very remote at all, being located only 1,355 kilometers (842 miles) from Williams Field NZWD near Ross Island. Topic: <laughs> Farthest apart cities. The pairs of cities with a population over 100,000 with the greatest distance between them are Rosario, Argentina to Xinhua, China, 19,996 kilometers, 12,425 miles. Luan, China to Rio Cuarto, Argentina, 19,994 kilometers, 12,424 miles. Cuenca, Ecuador to Subang Jaya, Malaysia, 19,989 kilometers, 12,421 miles. Rancagua, Chile to Xi'an, China, 19,972 kilometers, 12,410 miles. Salamanca, Spain to Lower Hutt, New Zealand, 19,961 kilometers, 12,403 miles. 
Marbella, Spain to Auckland, New Zealand, 19,960 km, 12,403 miles. Topic. Center Since the Earth is a spheroid, its center the core, is thousands of kilometers beneath its crust. On the surface, the center of the standard geographic model as viewed on a traditional world map is the point 0 degrees, 0 degrees the coordinates of 0 degrees latitude by 0 degrees longitude, which is located in the Atlantic Ocean approximately 614 kilometers 382 miles south of Accra, Ghana, in the Gulf of Guinea, at the intersection of the equator and the prime meridian. However, the selection for the prime meridian as the zero degrees longitude meridian is culturally and historically dependent and therefore arbitrary. The center of population, the place to which there is the shortest average route for every individual human being in the world, could also be considered a center of the world. This point is located in the north of the Indian subcontinent, although the precise location has never been calculated and is constantly shifting due to changes in the distribution of the human population across the planet. Topic. Longest lines between two points Topic. A long constant latitude The longest continuous east-west distance on land is 10,726 kilometers 6,665 miles along the latitude 48 degrees 24 minutes 53 seconds north, from the west coast of France 48 degrees 24 minutes 53 seconds north 4 degrees 47 minutes 44 seconds west through Central Europe, Ukraine, Russia, Kazakhstan, Mongolia and China, to a point on the east coast of Russia 48 degrees 24 minutes 53 seconds north 140 degrees 6 minutes 3 seconds east. The longest continuous east-west distance on land including permanent ice shelf is 7,958 kilometers 4,945 miles along the latitude 78 degrees 35 s. This is the minimum extent of the Ross Ice Shelf, Antarctica and is subject to change. The longest continuous east-west distance at sea is 22,471 kilometers (13,963 miles) along the latitude 55 degrees 59 s, south of Cape Horn, South America. The longest in the northern hemisphere is 4,435 kilometers (2,756 miles) along the latitude 83 degrees 40 in, north of Kafeklubben Island, Greenland. The longest continuous east-west distance at sea between two continents is 15,409 kilometers (9,575 miles) along the latitude 18 degrees 39 minutes 12 seconds north, from the coast of Hainan, China. 18 degrees 39 minutes 12 seconds north, 110 degrees 15 minutes 9 seconds east, across the Pacific Ocean to the coast of Michoacan, Mexico. 18 degrees 39 minutes 12 seconds north 103 degrees 42 minutes 6 seconds west topic a long constant longitude The longest continuous north-south distance on land is 7590 kilometers, 4720 miles along the meridian 99 degrees 1 minute 30 seconds east from the northern tip of Siberia in the Russian Federation, 76 degrees 13 minutes 6 seconds north, 99 degrees 1 minute 30 seconds east through Mongolia, China, and Myanmar to a point on the south coast of Thailand, 7 degrees 53 minutes 24 seconds north 99 degrees 1 minute 30 seconds east. 
The longest in Africa is 7,417 kilometers (4,609 miles) along the meridian 20 degrees 12 e, from the north coast of Libya, 32 degrees 19 minutes 0 seconds north, 20 degrees 12 minutes 0 seconds east, through Chad, Central African Republic, Democratic Republic of the Congo, Angola, Namibia, and Botswana, to the south coast of South Africa, 34 degrees 41 minutes 30 seconds south 20 degrees 12 minutes 0 seconds east. The longest in South America is 7,098 kilometers 4,410 miles along the meridian 70 degrees 2 W, from the north coast of Venezuela 11 degrees 30 minutes 30 seconds north 70 degrees 2 minutes 0 seconds west, through Colombia, Ecuador, Peru, and Chile, to the southern tip of Argentina 52 degrees 33 minutes 30 seconds south 70 degrees 2 minutes 0 seconds west. The longest in North America is 5,813 kilometers (3,612 miles) along the meridian 97 degrees 52 minutes 30 seconds west, from northern Canada 68 degrees 21 minutes 0 seconds north, 97 degrees 52 minutes 30 seconds west, through the United States to southern Mexico 16 degrees 1 minute 0 seconds north, 97 degrees 52 minutes 30 seconds west. The longest continuous north-south distance at sea is 15,986 kilometers 9,933 miles along the meridian 34 degrees 45 45. W, from the coast of eastern Greenland 66 degrees 23 minutes 45 seconds north, 34 degrees 45 minutes 45 seconds west across the Atlantic Ocean to the filchner ron Ice Shelf, on the coast of Antarctica 77 degrees 37 minutes 0 seconds south 34 degrees 45 minutes 45 seconds west. The longest in the Pacific Ocean is 15,883 kilometers (9,869 miles) along the meridian 172 degrees 8 minutes 30 seconds. W from the coast of Siberia 64 degrees 45 minutes 0 seconds north 172 degrees 8 minutes 30 seconds west to the Ross Ice Shelf in Antarctica 78 degrees 20 minutes 0 seconds south 172 degrees 8 minutes 30 seconds west the meridian that crosses the greatest total distance on land disregarding intervening bodies of water is still to be determined it is likely located in the vicinity of 22 degrees east, which is the longest integer meridian that fits that criterion, crossing a total of 13,035 kilometers (8,100 miles) of land through Europe, 3,370 kilometers (2,090 miles), Africa, 7,458 kilometers (4,634 miles), and Antarctica, 2,207 kilometers. 1,371 miles. More than 65% of the meridian's length is located on land. The meridian that crosses Giza Great Pyramid, 31 degrees 08 3.69 e, is 855 kilometers 531 miles shorter. The next six longest integer meridians by total distance over land are, in order, 23 degrees east, 12,953 kilometers, 8,049 miles through Europe, 3,325 kilometers, 2,066 miles, Africa, 7,415 kilometers, 4,607 miles, and Antarctica, 2,214 kilometers, 1,376 miles. 
27 degrees east, 12,943 kilometers, 8,042 miles through Europe, 3,254 kilometers, 2,022 miles, Asia, 246 kilometers, 153 miles, Africa, 7,223 kilometers, 4,488 miles, and Antarctica, 2,221 kilometers, 1,380 miles 25 degrees east 12875 kilometers 8000 miles through europe 3344 kilometers 2078 miles africa 7327 kilometers 4553 miles and antarctica 2204 kilometers 1370 miles 26 degrees east, 12,858 kilometers, 7,990 miles through Europe, 3,404 kilometers, 2,115 miles, Africa, 7,258 kilometers, 4,510 miles, and Antarctica, 2,196 kilometers, 1,365 miles. 24 degrees east, 12,794 kilometers, 7,950 miles through Europe, 3,263 kilometers, 2,028 miles, Africa, 7,346 kilometers, 4,565 miles, and Antarctica, 2,185 kilometers, 1,358 miles. 28 degrees east, 12,778 kilometers, 7,940 miles through Europe, 3,039 kilometers, 1,888 miles, Asia, 388 kilometers, 241 miles, and Africa, 7,117 kilometers, 4,422 miles. Topic. Along any geodesic. These are the longest straight lines that can be drawn between any two points on the surface of the Earth and remain exclusively over land or water. The points need not lie on the same latitude or longitude. The longest continuous straight line distance in any direction on land is 13,573 kilometers, 8,434 miles, along a line that begins on the West African coast near Greenville, Liberia, 5 degrees 2 minutes 51.59 seconds north, 9 degrees 7 minutes 23.26 seconds west, goes across the Suez Canal and ends at the top of a peninsula approximately 100 kilometers 62 miles northeast of Wenzhou, China 28 degrees 17 minutes 7.68 seconds north 121 degrees 38 minutes 17.31 seconds east The longest continuous straight line land distance solely within continental Africa is 8,402 kilometers 5,221 miles, along a line that begins just east of Tangier, Morocco and ends 1 100 kilometers 62 miles east of Port Elizabeth, South Africa. This line passes through Morocco, Algeria, Mali, Niger, Nigeria, Cameroon, Equatorial Guinea, Gabon, Republic of the Congo, Democratic Republic of the Congo, Angola, Namibia, Botswana and South Africa. The longest continuous straight line land distance solely within continental Asia is 10,152 kilometers, 6,308 miles, along a line that begins on the Indian coast near Kanyakumari and ends at the Bering Sea coast of the Chukchi Peninsula in Russia. This line passes through India, Nepal, China, Mongolia and Russia. The longest continuous straight line land distance solely within continental Europe defining the Ural Mountains as the border between Europe and Asia is 5,325 kilometers 3,309 miles, along a line that begins at Cape St. Vincent, Portugal and ends at the Urals, near the town of Perm, Russia. 
This line passes through Portugal, Spain, France, Germany, Poland, Lithuania, Belarus and Russia. The longest continuous straight-line land distance solely within continental North America is 7,602 kilometers (4,724 miles) along a line that begins at Point Hope, Alaska, United States, and ends 34 kilometers (21 miles) southwest of the town of Salina Cruz, Mexico. This line passes through Alaska, Canada, contiguous United States, and Mexico. The longest continuous straight line land distance solely within continental South America is 7248 kilometers, 4504 miles, along a line that begins 10 kilometers, 6.2 miles northeast of Puerto Cumarebo, Venezuela and ends 80 kilometers, 50 miles south of the town of Punta Arenas, Chile. This line passes through Venezuela, Colombia, Brazil, Peru, Chile and Argentina. The longest continuous straight line land distance solely within continental Australia is 4,053 kilometres 2,518 miles, along a line that begins at the southern end of Cape Range National Park in Western Australia and ends at the town of Byron Bay in New South Wales. There are several possible candidates for the longest continuous straight line distance in any direction at sea, as there are many possible ways to travel along a great circle for more than the antipodic length of 19,840 kilometers (12,330 miles). Some examples of such routes would be from the south coast of Baluchistan province somewhere near port of Karachi, Pakistan 25 degrees 25 and 66 degrees 25 e across the Arabian Sea, southwest through the Indian Ocean, near Comoros, passing Namate Canyon, near the South African coast, across the South Atlantic Ocean, then west across Cape Horn, then northwest across the Pacific Ocean, near Easter Island, passing the antipodal point near Amalia Island, through the South Bering Sea and ending somewhere on the northeast coast of Kamchatka, near Asora 59 degrees 38 and 163 degrees 24 e. This route is 32,040 kilometers 19,910 miles long. This route was confirmed to be the longest at about 32,090 kilometers given map data at a 1.8 kilometers level of resolution. From the south coast of Hormozgan province, Iran 25 degrees 35 and 58 degrees 22 e across the Gulf of Oman, southeast across the Arabian Sea, passing south of Australia and New Zealand, near the Antarctic coast, then northeast across the South Pacific Ocean, passing the antipodal point and ending on the southwest coast of Mexico somewhere near Ciudad Lazaro Cardenas 17 degrees 57 and 100 1 degrees 57 w this route is 25267 kilometers 15700 miles long from Invercargill, New Zealand, 46 degrees 37 s 168 degrees 59 e across Cape Horn, then off the coast of Brazil close to Recife, passing north of Cape Verde, passing the antipodal point and ending somewhere on the southwest coast of Ireland, 52 degrees 09 and 6 degrees 34 w. This route is 20,701 kilometers, 12,863 miles long. Topic: Along any truly straight line. As distinct from all the above mentioned geodesic lines, which may appear straight but are actually arcs of great circles projected on the spheroidal surface of the Earth and, accordingly, are not truly straight but rather curving lines, authentically straight lines can be projected through the interior of the Earth between almost any two points on the surface of the Earth, some extreme topographical situations being the rare exceptions. 
if a line projected from the summit of Kayamba in Ecuador see highest points to the axial center of the Earth is extended to its antipode on the island of Sumatra, then the resulting diametrical line would be the longest truly straight line that could be produced anywhere on Earth. As the variable circumference of the Earth approaches 25,000 miles, such a maximum diametrical or antipodal line would be on the order of 8,000 miles long. Topic: By region. Topic: Afro-Eurasia. Extreme points of Afro-Eurasia Africa Eurasia Asia Europe The Americas Extreme points of the Americas North America Central America The Caribbean South America Topic Oceania Extreme points of Oceania Topic Antarctica Extreme points of Antarctica Extreme points of the Antarctic Topic Arctic Extreme points of the Arctic Topic See also Extremes on Earth List of solar system extremes List of countries by northernmost point List of countries by southernmost point List of northernmost items city, capital, island, etc. List of southernmost items city, capital, island, etc. List of elevation extremes by country List of elevation extremes by region List of highest towns by country Extreme points of the Commonwealth of Nations Lists of extreme points equals equals notes